Well, good day, humans. Welcome to another random vlog. And um, today's a little adventure. I think I'm gonna try and hike to this little beach I found on Stalky the other day. Stalky's the drone, and um, yeah, it's kind of nestled in amongst a couple of headlands, a tiny little beach, like cove. It looked pretty nice from the air, so um, yeah, gonna try and hike to that and maybe do a bit of fishing along the way and just a coastal roam, so. Let's see how it goes. Look at all these cows, these cute little calves. They are noisy this morning. I think they're waiting to get out into the next paddock. Ah, oh, they're cute. I can't eat you guys. Alright, alright, I'll leave you alone. Have a good life. either side it's moving pretty fast it's waiting for that to clear out so I can get some stalky footage what's this Are you come here on holiday and leave your luggage here so this is a nice little beach eh? got this little lake got the mountain there and basically the little beach I'm going to is up here a few clicks so going to be a bit of a hike along the beach today over some headlands bring the fishing rod with me see if we can do a little catch and cook along the way but um if not it's just good to get out and enjoy some of this oxygen man hey look at this raspberries Man, I caught some fish today. Little raspberry sauce, little catch and cook. That'd be all right. Don't really want to eat that unless. Oh man, I just found a bunch of them there. If I need to survive off raspberries, I know where to come, but I was about to say, I don't really want to eat them because I'm not sure if they're being poisoned because they're an invasive species. There's a few guys fishing down here. Nice little gutter. But um, I'm going north. And maybe there might be some nice gutters up the beach. Got the fishing rod, as mentioned. Let's see if we can catch a tailor. Have a little lunch. Just waiting for this storm to hurry up and disappear. The cuttlefish bone. Just walking along the beach trying to see if there's any good gutters to fish. It's a bit annoying, we've had a bit of wild weather the last couple of days, so it's a bit messy and it's not as clear as what it should be. Usually it's crystal clear. We actually had a bit of rain, so this is like a little swamp inlet that's obviously filled up recently and exited out but there 
might be a little opportunity to catch a fish up here. I might be able to reach the gutter. The gutter's basically a deep channel of water which runs along the beach and usually a fish kind of congregate and swim through there looking for food. So that's probably the best option, try and catch a little bit of lunch. Tide's dropping as, as well at the moment, so not ideal, but not complaining. Be a bit of a trail here. Might be in luck. Yes, I think I'm in luck. Let's do this. Definitely don't have the best shoes on today for hiking this wet grass but oh yeah I'm definitely gonna get some leeches it's all a part of the journey but yeah Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty easy. So I came from down there, hiked up here, and seems like someone uses this trail access a bit. Oh yeah, the water's starting to clear up now. It's a good little fishing spot actually. Let's get Storky up in there, see if we can spot anything. Yeah, might do that. Might set it up at this little hut. Yeah, someone's just living out here nowadays. Ooh, there's a bit of a rock pool down there. We might explore that. What is going down here? No way. Someone has a romance seat. Ah, oh, this is actually my little hidden beach, but damn, it's all washed out. Ah, oh, what a shame. See, look at this, there's like a bunch of pine trees in this little gully there. Anyway, this is a spot to set up stalking and we'll get the drone up in the air.
So yeah, that was my beach, which I spotted on my drone. The the footage I saw it in was a couple of weeks old, so obviously we've had a lot of surf and it's washed out all that beach, but never mind, cool little beach to come back to. Keep walking around. Oh, these little flowers. I think these are invasive. Maybe I'm wrong there. Well, these are the ones that cattle can't eat or they get sick eating too many of them. I don't know. Just making up shit. So this is another little vantage point of that beach. Look how nice it looks from this angle. You can imagine when it's full of sand, so secluded. Yeah, I don't think she's worth going down there today, but it's nice, eh? Keep going. So I walked around to the next beach and lake and look at this, that's what I'm talking about. Got another stalker bench here. Oh yeah. And I have to do a little creek crossing. Maybe go fish that gutter up there. I can fish the lake, might get some flathead. Tell you what. I'm not concerned that that other little hidden beach kind of failed because look how nice this is. Beautiful. Probably gonna have to go for a swim as well, man, because it is so hot. Stacks of flies out as well. Stalky's already landed and got on the beach before me. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Not a soul in sight. First thing I'm probably going to do, is I might go up here and fish this gutter before the tide gets too low, see if I can get a tailor. So um, let's go do that. not quite sure this fishing spot is going to be ideal. I think the tide's just a bit too low. So I might have to go back to the lake and fish for flathead, but I'll give this a quick cast. As you can see on high tide, this gut is much deeper. But you never know, sometimes there's a little tailor or 
I can see a bunch of mullet in the water here, but um, mullet aren't really what I'm after. And they don't really take these kind of raiders or lures. You can see them here, just all sitting in the wash. Let's see, I'd be very surprised if I get one here, but find out. Look at them all, stacks of mullet. See them all in the wave? Come on, fishy. You wouldn't think that many fish would be so shallow in amongst the surf. Yeah, don't think much love today in this spot. Give it a couple more casts. So yeah, we'll walk back around here and explore this little lake. Obviously change the lure off. Something more appropriate for flathead. Let's see what happens. Look at this man. Not a single person, just me and a bunch of seagulls. This is what I love about the coast where I live. There's no bloody commoners, mate. You can have a good day out and enjoy the sun. So I think the mission will be using this little soft plastic to chase flathead. Unfortunately, I didn't really bring much in terms for chasing flathead. I was more expecting the fish off the beach, but um, you know, this will do. So, probably just walk along this inlet and see if I can pick up a little flathead. There's heaps of bait fish in here, tiny little bait fish. The water's actually really nice. Definitely, I'm gonna have to probably jump in for a little swim. As cast. Oh shit, I'm on. I'm joking. Wish I was that lucky. Yeah, she's shallow, but flathead. They get up onto the flats and shallows and hunt little fish, bury themselves in the sand. So you'd be very surprised at where a flathead can get and where you can catch them. So I just realized this morning, left sunscreen, left my neck gaiter at home, left my hat at home. Luckily I have this shirt, which I'm just gonna have to cover my neck and face with. Look like a pleb, but doesn't matter. There you go, this is what I look like with a bloody shirt as sun protection, man. The sun is hot today. 
well located so I've just slowly made my way up along this bank it's still pretty shallow I'm waiting till I get up onto these deeper flats up here and I might even walk across into the water and work that channel because it's deeper but stacks of bait fish everywhere this is what flathead love so just keep plugging away <laughs> Yeah. Hey buddy. Cute little fella. Ow! Yeah, fair enough, you got me. I might have just missed him, but the walking along here there was like three or four wallabies sunbaking in the grass here and they scared the shit out of me because I had my back turned to them. I just heard all this noise and they all jumped up and ran off into the bush. Wallabies, man. How many people have died from a wallaby attack? I could have been the first ever gone down in the history books. At least my name will be remembered for something. Come on, fight it. You look at this mountain. Look at that. Sea eagle flies right past me as I'm appreciating that mountain. It's a big bird right there. But yeah, just still continuing up along this bank. Haven't had too much luck actually. Um, I wasn't expecting much luck because I don't really have the right gear. But um, hey, that's fishing, man. Just gotta keep plugging along. Might have to buddy catch and cook this lure up. Don't get anything else today, maybe. Well, I think I might go back explore that little beach which I originally came to suss out. And then um I might go back to the first beach, see if I can catch something there. I think there's more luck for fish on that beach this is where I have to cross and hopefully not bloody stack it All right, I'm gonna play it safe way <sighs> surprising at how strong this current actually is like it is only up to my knees but I'm telling you man it's got a bit of force to it Power of nature. Definitely think I'm gonna have to come back here there are some good casting rocks. Just need to come back when the swell's a bit lower. This looks like a bit of a bit of a trail down there. It almost fell. Oh shit, almost fell again. 
some spider webs. Bloody hate spiders. Oh, look at this yeah definitely a little beach to come back to once the sand fills it up again wow, that's awesome giant ass rock in the middle of the beach here. It's actually pretty damn big. See that? Ah, that's hot already. Could probably cook on that puppy right there. Uh, someone else has already been down here this morning, stalked it out. There's the romance chair up there. You can sit up there with your missus. Or you can sit up there solo, it does not matter. Yeah, I like it. Come back here again. Cave. Yeah, it probably goes five, five or so meters up. Someone's attempted to crawl in as far as they can. All right. Well, I'm glad I came down to suss it out. Let's keep moving. Maybe I'll cut up to the romance seat, go up that way. Interesting is that rock, eh, in the middle. I just totally don't care about that, but I find it interesting. Is this where I fall and break my back? Oh man, that is so slippery. Uh... It's crazy slippery. All right. Oh 
then hope I can get up this without dying. Yeah. So this was a small little hole I fished this morning. As you can see, the tide's going way back down. You can access it easier, but there's less water in there. So just give it another couple casts. What's going on here? Make sure that I'm not tangled. Walking along the beach, check out this tiny, tiny little bait fish. Look at that. He is so small. Nature, man. Nature. It's an amazing thing. Rest in peace, buddy. Well, didn't have too much more success on that beach. So uh, head back to the truck and suss out another beach or two on the way home, I guess. Apart from that, nice little stroll, bit of an explore. Well guys, I got back to the truck and um, yeah. Not too much luck on the fishing today, but it wasn't about the fishing. It was just about going for a little hike and a little walk and suss out that beach. But um, next time I'll have to go back there when there's a bit more sand in there. Probably take my fly rod as well to fish that other little lake. But um, anyway, thanks for watching the mini vlog today and um, catch you next time. Bit of a shell. You're a bit of a shell.